What's up, Bay Area? I'm Jonathan Bloom with How to Watch the Winter Olympics this Thursday, February 17th. This is it for women's figure skating, the final performance even as controversy swirls around it. Russian skater Kamila Valieva is in first place going into the free skate. She was allowed to perform her short program in spite of a positive test for a banned substance. Meanwhile, of the three skaters from Team USA, Alyssa Liu scored the highest. She's currently in eighth place. She and Mariah Bell say the controversy is out of their control, they need to focus on skating. Obviously, the court made the decision, so we athletes can't really do anything about it. So at this point, it is what it is. It's not my business. It's not something that I'm thinking about. I'm just here excited to skate, and I don't have control over what anybody else does. And here's how to watch. If you're up late or up early, it starts at 2 in the morning, and the three Americans are likely to skate between 3.30 and 5 a.m. That'll be live on Peacock and NBCOlympics.com. If you want to watch later, try to avoid the spoilers and tune in at 5.30. 30 p.m. for the replay in primetime on NBC. Now that replay will come in two parts because right in the middle there's a break for the finals of the women's halfpipe in freestyle skiing. NorCal native Britta Sigourney will ski for Team USA. She grew up in Carmel but spent an awful lot of time around Lake Tahoe. My parents would drive us to Lake Tahoe every weekend, five hour drive each way and um, I was on skis I think similar time when I started walking, so I don't even remember learning how to ski. I was just, we were there and they had skis my size and they put me on them and I stood up down the sledding hill, but I don't think anyone in my family ever saw it going this far. Also in the finals, Team China's Eileen Gu, who was born in San Francisco and already has two medals in these Olympics. And here's how to watch. The women's half-pipe final starts at 5.30 p.m. and you can watch the whole thing live on Peacock or NBCOlympics.com. At 6, you can see part of it live on NBC for about an hour, then it's back to figure skating by 7. Also in freestyle skiing, the men's ski cross is Thursday night with one lone athlete skiing for Team USA. Tyler Wallace is a first-time Olympian from Mammoth here in California, and he's been all over Twitter cheering on his friend Lindsay Jacob Ellis as she won two gold medals in the snowboard cross. Now he'll try to do the same thing on skis, and he's hoping it'll look something like this training run where everyone else is trailing behind him. And here's how to watch. Qualifying starts at 7.45 p.m., and you can watch that live on Peacock or NBCOlympics.com. Then at 10 p.m., the quarterfinals and semifinals are live on NBC with the final run at 11.10 p.m. Overnight, speed skating takes center stage with the women's 1,000-meter race. Two women are signed up to compete for Team USA. Kimmy Getz was a short-track speed skater. Now, after an injury, she's back on the long-track team. And Brittany Bowe explains how that works with Legos. We're a time trialing sport, but there are two competitors on the ice uh, at the same time. Gun goes off and we're going, we're going. Outer lane, inner lane. We get to the back stretch. The person that is on the inner goes to the outer lane. Here we go, home stretch. Yeah. And of course, girl power, the girl has to win. And here's how to watch. You can see the race live at 12.30 a.m. on Peacock or NBCOlympics.com, or watch the replay when it kicks off NBC's primetime coverage at 5 o'clock p.m. And finally, lots happening overnight in men's curling, so much that we can't even predict yet who will be in the bronze medal game Thursday night. But Team USA is a contender, and the skip, John Schuster, wants to repeat their gold medal from four years ago. He also has another dream, to bring diversity to a sport that's sometimes been criticized for being too white. To make sure that that isn't something that is seen as normal or okay um, in the world that you know my kids are growing up in. I hope that we get pretty soon to the day where where every single person that walks into a curling club feels like it's a comfortable place that they want to spend time like most of us curlers uh, feel about our curling clubs. By the way, you can learn all about curling from Abby Fernandez, who's just released another brand new video. This one will teach you the rules of the game and why it's called Chess on Ice. Check it out on NBCBayArea.com. And after that, here's how to watch. The men's semifinal games both happen at four in the morning. Then the losing teams duke it out in the bronze medal game, which you can watch on Peacock or NBCOlympics.com at 10 p.m. The gold medal game, not till Friday. Lots more action still to come in these Olympics, and if you don't want to miss a moment, check out NBCBayArea.com slash HowToWatch. I'll be back tomorrow as we get ready for more skiing and pairs figure skating at the Winter Olympics.